I don't like shopping at the best of times, so I'm definitely the worst person to ask for Christmas shopping advice. I would never do endorsements for any brand, no thanks. Um, I might do advertising for like, I wouldn't do it for a particular brand, um, although now with this recession, now is the time that gigantic corporations really need our help. <laughs> I wouldn't do um, advertising for anything, but, um, but I might do it, I wouldn't do it for like a specific thing, but I might do it for a general thing, like I like those mystery ads. Like you see those mysteries, like a big billboard, and there's pictures of lots of eggs, and it's just like, Eggs are a fantastic. <laughs> like, yeah. why do not? Why not just eat an egg now while you're at it? You know, I always wonder like who's behind those ads. You know, like who pays for them because it's not a brand name. Chickens, hens, <laughs> the hens. Why would they give away their babies? No, <laughs> maybe they're not babies when they're eggs. I don't know. When does life begin? <laughs> Discuss. I certainly won't. At Christmas time. I'm not fussy about what presents I get. I was when I was younger, obviously. Um, but like, we used to get kind of like quite crappy enough presents. But just because like everybody was poor, so we didn't really notice it. And you don't really notice until somebody goes and, and gets like something amazing and something like a better version of your present, you know. Um, like when I was about eight, um, I got a My Little Pony, which had been my dream for like the longest time. Look, look, I got a pony. Um, but there's always going to be somebody who gets a better version of your present. I got one too. Oh. Which was nice for her. <laughs> but she got a miniature Shetland pony, which you're not allowed to ride. So, I actually felt sorry for her by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> the poor thing. I like buying people Christmas presents, you know, because I love getting praise if I do it right. But some people are hard to buy for, like my dad. He just mentioned, I think, in 1987, that he quite liked Turkish Delight, or like he said something about Turkish Delight, didn't he? Yeah, like yum. Like he was like, yum, or something, yeah, when he ate Turkish Delight. And then, um, so ever since then, we were like, click. That's what he needs. And every single Christmas, we all buy him big barrels of Turkish Delight. And I don't think that, um, I mean, I don't know if he even likes it anymore. But now it's just become a habit, and it's really hard to change habits. A pair of slippers and a surprise and a box of sweets. I want five set my car up. And a sewing set and um, a pram. Um, I want to get the Lego basic set. A wigwam and a tent and bullets. Every new year, um, I make the same resolutions usually. Like, for example, stop ordering cheese by the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. But um, I, really like, um, I really like the optimism like, that comes with making a news resolution. Um, my main New Year's resolution this year, I have a few of them, but the main one is to be more assertive. I've got problems with being assertive, you know. Like I say, thank you to Bank Machine. And um, one, one time, a guy was li lifted up his bike off the footpath, and like it rolled across me there, and he left a big bike trail, like a big bike, a big tire track across my top. And I was like, sorry. So then I was like, no, I have to be more assertive. Is Santa Claus coming to this year? No. Yeah. What are you getting from Santa Claus? Santa and the dolly. Recently I tried to be assertive on a bus. Um, I get the bus a lot and I really like it, but something classic happened on the bus, which was the guy beside me had really loud headphones on and the girls behind me were being super loud. Right, so, uh, <laughs> I only got a yes there. Oh my God, you have to check this out. Oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just so annoying because it's like public transport, so everyone has to sit there. And I was being like good and quiet and everything, but they were being like really irritating. <laughs> <laughs> and then check out the sci-fi one, oh my God. Isn't it so cool? I don't know, man. I tried a few different tactics to get them to be quiet. Like, I was like, um, first of all, I was thinking, like, I'll just be, like, really aggressive and they'll be terrified of us. So I'll just be like, shut the fuck up. You turn that music down, you little bitch. Something like that. And then I would say to the guy beside me, you want to die? 
Sunny. And then he, he'd be like, no. And the girls would be like, sorry. So I was practicing all those tactics, but in the end, I, I, in the end, I like, um, finally decided to just be like a cool, like a cool girl, just like friendly, you know. And I would just tell them like in a cool way. Oh no, it's so much fun, that's the Chicago song. Hey girls! Hi, I love that song too. Um, but I just like feel like maybe some of the squares on the bus aren't as cool as we are, so maybe just keep it down or whatever. And um, hey dude, sorry. I'm just thinking about like uh, the way your music is so loud. Like I love music too, like I club, I club. But um, the thing is like, I'm the opposite of Rihanna. You know how she's like, turn the music up. I guess I'm more like, turn the music down, if you don't mind please. And it didn't go, it didn't go very well. You're the opposite of fucking Rihanna, all right. Hey, 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 don't forget your umbrella. Ella, Ella. <laughs> A good New Year's resolution to make is to try and be more confident. And um, I'm trying to do that this year. I'm going to try and be more confident, you know. I already tried to put that into place, you know. I met Joe's parents for the first time this Christmas and um, I was just super nervous, you know. Um, and I was just thinking, like, would they like me? Hi. How's it going? Hi. 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 How are you? Good. You know how it is when you're meeting um, your boyfriend or your girlfriend's parents for the first time. You just get nervous, like. Mm. So I was really nervous and um, we went in and they were being super nice. Like, they're really, really lovely, you know. Maybe you're very welcome. Thanks. We've heard so much about you from Joe. Oh, oh, so oh. Good things, uh, oh all good things. Yeah. I was telling them, uh, what was I saying about the cat? Remember I was saying about a cat, yeah. the way it kind of sits up. She puts it up on the couch and it's, it sits like a little person. It's got a little fat belly and he kind of slouches over. Um, but the thing is, like, um, I could just, the whole entire time the inner critic was at me. Nobody's going to like you. Look at you. First of all, you're dressed like the chairs. Your face is as white as the emulsion on the wall. You're trying to make a conversation with a man who's had a job. You've never yeah, had a job. You're like not that. fit to sell chips, you daft tart. What the hell is... Oh, God almighty. That's it. You made a noise. The man asks you a question and you make a slurpy slurpy. It's not a chompy chompy, it's a chatty chatty. All you want to do is eat mince pies. What an old blood yet. That's a tree, Maeve. A Christmas tree. It's Christmas and everybody hates you. Yeah. yeah. But I just kept thinking like, no, you should argue with him and you should say, no, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. You're absolutely doing fine, Maeve. And there was a museum. What was the museum? Kind of a lace museum or something. It was material, I think, anyway. I don't... I'm doing fine. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. You better watch out. You better not cry. Um, okay, Lily. Um, I'm finished all the icing. Yeah, brilliant. So, um, <laughs> I've finished all these the gingerbread uh, hearts and teddies to go, our teddies are men, um, to go with the crib. So now we're just going to do, Lily's going to do the crib, really. Yeah, a gingerbread crib. <laughs> Say baby Jesus. <laughs> we um, love you. We really do. <laughs> Who's your real dad? So now, so now we have to go and get ready for the party. But we would like to say to you, our three viewers, happy Christmas, everybody.
them and tap the queen cake if you wanted. The kind of glittery looking, but um, I think they're actually, they might be illegal now, I'm not really sure. But um, this one then is a gingerbread man actually. And he's missing ha a whole half of him, but if you see there, I did three buttons on his torso. They matched him, we're to the toilet there. Okay, fair. I'll see you in a while. I told you I love you, but they're just useless words. As we lie, terrified of what we make over here, and you don't want to be here any more than me. But as you open your pearl, you know you can't leave. I thought you didn't believe in Christmas. Well, no. everybody believed in Christmas. Of course we do. <laughs> 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 